So what gives you euphoric chills and goosebumps? Um, Steely Dan. Um, the Interstellar theme song as arranged by Patrick Peachman. Uh, watch it on YouTube. Uh, I cry and tingle every time I hear it. So when you get the tingles, where does it like happen in your body? Starts in the back of my neck. Okay. Right? I get brain tingles from Ooh. Steely Dan. It just makes me think. Makes your body think. Yeah. The neuron receptors think. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything in particular from Steely Dan that gives it to you? Lyricism. Ricky, don't lose that number, guys. Something to think about. It is. And then uh, how long does it last for you? Oh, it usually lasts, like, for the entirety of the song, the Interstellar theme song, usually climaxing at the very end, at the part where it's both hands going, but you can still hear that E, like, dink, 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 in between it. It's, you've, you've seen me have it. Right. You, she's yeah, seen me play it and just, like, tingle and tingle and tingle. Mm -hmm. It's, um... She plays it on the piano. Yeah, it's the ultimate tingle fest, and everybody should listen to it. And listen to the E plunking down, and it will make you tingle, too. Something to look into. Yeah, I think, like, interstellar is something that people say gives them, like, full body chills, you know, makes them cry, but feel, like, that euphoria. Yeah. yeah. And, um, of course, we have Matthew McConaughey. If you just envision his little, like, sobbing face, Timothy Chalamet on the other end of the interview, he's talking to his dad. They're 30 years apart. If you think about the plot, it definitely... It helps actually subdue the tingles because it's such a downer. Um, so I recommend you listen to it without the context of the movie in mind yeah. because Christopher Nolan was kind of like a Debbie Downer for that. And then is there anything else that gives you those shivers or tingles? Are we getting at something here? Is there like a... Is there a correct answer? <laughs> Seems like There is no okay, correct okay. answer. I have another answer. Pebble ice, um, specifically the kind of bullet-shaped ones that come, come out of like the little Amazon ice machines. Yep. It's like the perfect texture of anything I've ever tasted in my life. Am I wrong? No, she's very right, guys. Get on that igloo from Amazon. We don't have a discount yeah. code for you, but um, something to think about. We actually went through four of these machines last year when we were living together because they broke so often because we were actually overusing it so much because we were so obsessed with these ice cubes. And those were like a oral tingle. It was very much like um, more sensory than yep. like neurological. Yep. I agree. So when you guys are talking about like Interstellar or any of those other things, are you getting the chills and tingles when you're talking about it? Absolutely. It's not like, um, the word Interstellar doesn't give it to me, but whenever you tell me to think about the part of the song that gives me the chills, instantly. Yeah, for sure. Steely Dan. I imagine myself in some kind of van in a parking lot listening. I'm not, I didn't get tickets. Right. I didn't get tickets, but I'm still there hoping maybe I get tickets. We'll never know. No. I mean, that's how I, that's exactly how I feel when I see like the Interstellar in concert poster posted on Fulton Street Station. I know I won't be able to go. Full body tingles even at the, the thought time. of the opportunity of getting to hear it. Yeah. So I think that the tingles can be like, um, What's the word? Um, anticipatory? Anticipatory, exactly. Um, what gives you tingles? What gives you tingles? Do you have an answer to this? I have so many answers, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, definitely I think like movie scenes where the characters overcome some huge obstacles or okay. do something that like, people- Like yeah. in Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, when he overcomes his panic attack, when the whistling wolf right. finally reala reveals oh that he's not even real. That was, that was on mine. Yeah. Was that what you were Puss thinking of? Wish. I haven't seen that yeah, one though. Right. So <laughs> but, <laughs> you, you didn't want to say it. I gotta see that. I gotta see that. Um, just the, oh my god, so many things like uh, certain types of foods. Okay. Usually plant based for me. Plant based. Usually plants. Why the heck kind not? of fruits and stuff. Yeah. Mango. Mm, yeah, mango. mangoes do. Yeah. I had a I get that. the other day. <laughs> you were there. Yep. And it gave me the tingles because it was like the acidity of the pineapple and the mango together. They were just under ripe. And I was like, I was shoveling that. It was insane. It was like, no, literally, it was yeah. like interstellar tingles from the under ripe mango. Yeah. It couldn't have been better. No. Try yeah. that out. Yeah. I'm definitely going to try that out. What do you think? Like, do you think it's sort of like a, a feedback loop for our body? Like to say, like, this is good for us? I think that it's um, endorphins. Uh, 
but I think it's also um, there's there's another word that I'm thinking of. Serotonin? Not serotonin, but also serotonin for sure. Yeah. I think a lot of us, uh, especially like in this day and age, like you know, coming out of COVID and coming out of all of this isolation, have maybe been very deprived of serotonin and endorphins, and I think our bodies are all kind of just like starving to feel that kind of pleasure. Because I personally never really experienced that kind of tingly situation until like after, like years of being like so out of contact with the world and my senses so I think I've definitely started to feel things more deeply lately um so yeah that's my thought I agree with you I think it's like our brain being like I want more of this this is Give good for more. us yeah yep it's, yeah uh, it's like a request uh, that was what I was thinking of like request. like our bodies being like yes more of this this feels good for us more interstellar more interstellar for you more uh puss in boots the last well, wish his I have favorite movie one more to offer into the room yeah. um american pie by don mclean there's this one verse um where it's like and i know that you're in love with him because i are you dancing in the gym it's about um the plane crash it's with the big bopper with buddy, holly. buddy holly that is like i think that music especially um uh, music pre like auto tune and stuff like that like very grounded human music is very like eliciting of those emotions yeah, I mean exactly. hey y'all by outcast total tingle central right yeah. no it's true it's true um, when I was in fifth grade I might have said Hamilton the musical you know uh, we're in New York why the heck not why the heck the freak not that's well, yeah I hope we could help yeah I hope we can help you get to the bottom of tingle town yeah <laughs> yeah, I'm always trying to go to Tingle Town, and actually, like, just talking about it kind of gives it to me. I sort of feel like a buzz. Yeah. I start to like, you know, it kind of yeah. goes all over. Right now, it's at my legs a little bit. Yeah, I, and it just travels around, yeah. but it feels really good. It's a For really sure. good I'm euphoric glad. high. Definitely a euphoric high. Kids, don't do drugs. Go to Tingle Town. Yeah. That's <laughs> Grace and Nat. Yay! Sobriety. <laughs>